What's the scariest thing you've ever done? Standing on the edge of an airplane, seconds away from telling the person of your dreams you love them for the first time, or getting ready to give a speech in front of a packed room. A moment so visceral that everything around you disappears. Yet fear is completely relative. When I feel completely at home in the ocean, Amar can't stop worrying about drowning or the animals underneath him. And where Amar feels at peace overlooking the edge of a steep cliff, looking down from the edge of a building, even secured, gives me paralyzing vertigo. I can't stop fearing that I'll trip, that the gear protecting me could malfunction, or that something as small as a gush of wind could throw me off balance. And to some extent, those fears are very valid to have. Yet the reality is that fear is a mental muscle that needs regular attention. And if you don't actively seek to safely challenge it, it'll eventually take control over your life. So today, we're going to the mental gym. Ryan Robinson is currently one of the most badass highliners in the world. Simply put, highlining means strapping a line very high up in the air and walking the thin strap across to the other side. He holds the record for the longest highline set up between two bridges, co-holds the title for the longest highline in the US, and attended American Ninja Warrior four times. Overall, he's just a full stack athlete. We got connected to him a few weeks ago and asked him if an idea that Amar's had for a while was possible. Could we set up some form of a hammock in between the edges of a steep and terrifying cliff and spend an entire night strapped above that drop. We got our friend and world traveler Max to agree to come with us, and with a yes from Ryan, we were ready to go. We're going to Utah. Look at him just snuck his way into that adventure. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Let's do this. You look high. It's, it's beginning like not better for me. Thomas is just a very survival oriented man. He's a man that makes rational decisions and doesn't take risks when he doesn't need to. In all these different instances. All these different. Wait, how many instances? <laughs> this is safe. <laughs> yeah. I've never jumped in cold water. Why are we doing a cliff jump? I'm not that scared. I'm just hiding. We're going with one of the best highliners in the world. He is scared of heights, which is a very interesting perspective for him. Another <laughs> adventure. <laughs> Off to Utah we go. Don't be fooled by how excited Thomas is. His excitement is gonna turn into severe fear very, very soon. <laughs> Nice to meet you. How you doing? I was packing last night and I was like, oh my god. The more bags, you know, like adventures are happening. Oh, holy shit. All right. We good to go? Oh, this is so sick. Oh wow, this is gonna be interesting. This is what's gonna hold us above a freaking four or five hundred foot drop. Are you kidding me? How are you feeling? I feel great. It's like so excited. This is like sturdy, right? Yeah. The more you think about all these things, the more you're gonna psych yourself up. Just have the trust. That this stuff is tested. How many people set these up on on cliffs rather than trees? For Lawyer reasons, we tell people you can't hang it more than 48 inches off the ground. We had people fall out of the hammock. Wow. Okay, under the ground. Thanks a lot, Bill. Gotcha. Thanks. Bye bye. Part of the equipment picked up. How do you feel, Ryan? Oh, I'm, I'm stoked out of my brain. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm not too sure yet. <laughs> I'll be fine, guys. So, I got my grown up job, making great money but I wasn't happy. And then one day I was sitting at my desk and I just freaked out. I had like an anxiety attack. I ran to the bathroom and I ran into the stall and just closed the door. And I just sat there for like an hour crying. I saw myself sitting at that desk 20 years from that date. So that day I went into my boss's office and I quit. So after that, I started highlining and I was living in a rental car that I couldn't pay for, couldn't even eat. Opened up my laptop and I just wrote emails for like the next 12 hours. All night I was writing emails and by 10 a.m. the next day, I had put together like $7,000 from the sponsors, and three days later, I was on an airplane to Hawaii. I don't feel like I've worked a day since at all. So, we are ready for tomorrow. I guess uh, we'll see you bright and early. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Top of the morning for you. Oh, top of the morning? Too. Top of the morning for you. Looks like we'll be matching today. Look how cute they look in there. Dark shorts, their little white ankle socks. That's right, team seek discomfort. What are you, team nothing? <laughs> team top of the morning. Oh! I'm making the drive to Moab, about four and a half hours. Yo, 
are rolling into Moab right now, and it's starting to look like we're arriving in Mars. I mean, you're like out of a cartoon. <laughs> Hi everyone, just want to let you know that the new season for Seek Discomfort is currently live on SeekDiscomfort.com. It's a collaboration with an incredible artist, his name is Writings from Michael, and it's a very unique collection. Link is in the description, now back to the video. We are out there! <laughs> Jake, nice nice you. Thank you so much for helping today. Our life is in your hands. Oh yeah. It makes you feel any better. I've rigged here like more times than I can count. So. I don't even think we mentioned this yet, but I hit up a friend of ours, Eli, and I told him that we're coming out here. He's a heli pilot and he didn't have his heli, so he hit up a friend and they both flew all the way down here and he just ah! arrived. Welcome everyone to the Fruit Bowl. My name is Ryan. I'll be your host today. And uh, we're gonna go have a little adventure. If you're ever near the cliff, no screwing Jokes. around. When you're around these cliffs all the time, after like 20 minutes, you guys are gonna get really used to it. You're gonna be running around, having a good time. Just, you know, make sure you keep something in the back of your head that says, hey, remember that's a 500 foot drop. The concept is very simple, but the tactics that we're gonna be doing is actually quite technical. If you see something that you're concerned about, ask us about it. There is a chance we're humans and we might make a mistake. It's probably not gonna happen because we're really good at this. Don't do anything unless someone has checked your gear. Amazing, <laughs> let's do it. To the fruit bowl we go. We are in the middle of nowhere right now. <laughs> Anxiety is starting to rise a little bit. Spending the night strapped on that thin little freaking hammock. It's gonna blow you and it's gonna move. Let's see what happens and trust Ryan, this man that we met yesterday with our lives. Oh my God. Holy. Before you get close to the ledge, guys. All right, Dad. Oh, this is oh, it's gonna be the best bed we have ever slept on. Dude, don't get that close. Come, come, come here. Dude, I'm not gonna go up there. Dude, we're not free. We are about to sleep in the middle of the thing. This is so. Oh yeah. Like This just stopped being fun and games for me. To be honest, it just got really serious. It's a net. It's a freaking mosquito net. How are we doing, Ryan? Uh, right now we're trying to find the right anchor points. Um, each angle have to be the same, or at least equalized enough to where each leg is the same tension. Mm -hmm. Pretty much what that translates to is we want you guys to be super comfortable mm -hmm. all night. Yeah. How's it looking to give us a little more? How's that mesh? I don't think you're hungry. But is It is so hot right now. I can't even get myself to walk near that edge. I just need to lie down in the shade, gather some energy and courage to freaking go sleep on that thing later. I just feel kind of numb right now. Getting near that edge just gives me vertigo and I'm just genuinely petrified. Nice and slow, but... We are officially pulling and setting the bed up. This is gonna be our bed for tonight. <laughs> that thing flailing, flopping in the wind. started to pick up as they tried to set up the bed and they're gonna have to start over. Everything got entangled in the air. That little cloth right there is what we're spending the night on tonight. Okay. Are you guys seeing this? It doesn't like... I thought this was just like the rub that they're using just to get it on the other side, but this is the rub that's actually gonna hold us. Oh. 
So the weather turned around a little bit. All of a sudden, just the clouds started forming and probably gonna lose light faster than we expected. I did. Dude, I'm, I don't feel prepared for this at all. Like blindfolded. Woo, it's high. Don't worry about it. You'll be all right, buddy. It's good. <laughs> okay, anybody that's getting on there, get over here. So one big piece of advice, it's hard getting out there. It's a little weird. You gotta flip over the line and do this kind of stuff. It's gonna stress you out. It's gonna make you really nervous. Even I get nervous and shaky and uh, it's very natural. You're gonna be super safe when you got there. Sweet. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good, I'm good. He's super honest with me. If no, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously scared. Definitely get vertigo when I get close to it. Well, you just communicate with me. Okay, cool. So you got everything you need? Got your harnesses. We've been f***ing around all day. Now it just got serious. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna do great! We're getting the last glimmer of lights as we clip onto this thing for the night. So, you're a brave soul, bud. So this is rated to 22 kilonewtons, which one kilonewton is 224 pounds. I'm just so scared of like someone tri even just tripping because mistakes happen. Like I'm afraid of just a very simple, oh, and then never see that person again. So this is sucked up good, yeah. strong. Come here, boy. <laughs> Omar, how are you feeling? Good. I'm always excited to get out there. Back. I think you're good to go. Amazing. Uh, get your crotch really close to it. Boom. And you're going to slowly shimmy off this cliff. And then uh, see you later. All right. Hope you feel good? Yeah. Okay. So you're ready to go, man. Have fun. Thank you for doing yeah. this. Bye bye. Really slowly, but yeah. And then you're good. Boom. So, okay, look at me. Go very slow, all right? I'll keep control of the slide. Okay. So, swing it down. Oh, wow. You gotta get your legs up. Yeah, you gotta get your legs you up. You have to do it now. Yeah, do it now before you get tired. You gotta f***ing push really hard right now. Breathe. You got him, Jake. Ah. Come on. You're okay, you're okay. Stay there. Ah. You got ah. him, Jake. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come, on come on, come ah. on. Stay there. All right, what's going on? Uh, no, I don't. It's a lot harder to get up there than I thought. I'm coming, bud. Come on, Amar. Keep coming. Up under the line. Get nice. Come up under my legs. Throw a leg <laughs> to me. Oh, did it? Oh, there you go. That's don't, it. Don't. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. <laughs> this feels awesome. Yeah. Ryan, how was that? Yeah, I figured it would happen at least to one person. Dude, it's getting dark too. It's like it took us all day to get here and put it up and we're kind of taking our time and now we're paying the price. Yeah. Um, it's going down. It's been a lot of anticipation. <laughs> there you go. Hang on one sec. And uh, you are good, my friend. Enjoy it. Thomas, just for a second, enjoy the fear you have right now. Enjoy it, brother. That's not easy. Woo! Yeah, yeah Thomas! Go. Woo! <laughs> Thomas, how, how are you feeling over there? Pretty fing scared. Yo guys, don't eat all the MMs before I get out there, yeah? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Coming in hot! Oh my god. Woo! Thanks, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Okay. Alright, I'm ready for bed. Man. I'm just holding on for my dear life on these cables. I'm gonna sleep like this. Do you feel safe? Do you feel comfortable? I'm pretty sure we're safe, but it's hard to feel safe when you're like, you know what's underneath you. It's 10 30 p.m. We decided to call it a night. Uh, we're gonna go to bed right now with our harnesses on. Clipped on with the carabiners to the safety ropes. Good night, Amar. Good night, bud. Good night, Thomas. Good night, buddy. Sleep well.
like the whole hammock is shaking from the wind coming from underneath us. We have absolutely no way of getting off because Ryan is in a tent <laughs> far away. Dude, this is getting really bad. Dude, it's really starting to pour now. Trying to just get it up. I've been at a like 35 degree angle this whole time. <laughs> if there's any way we can just get Ryan out of here, I don't know. I'm just like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it all night. I mean, this 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 is very extreme. So I like no blame whatsoever. It's Ryan, Ryan, Bryce, Logan. Yeah. We just need Ryan to come check the lines because we're slanted now. Okay. So we've become pretty slanted. Um, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it all night. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just like. No, no, it's fine. Been trying like really hard to keep it together, but I'm just very, uh, just not feeling very well. My palms have been like sweating, and I'm just, I feel very weak. It's coming over, guys. Thanks, bud. Thank you. So if you can just like look at the lines. I'm not feeling very well. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Are we okay? Yeah. It looks no different. Ryan, is there any... I, I don't know if I can make it all night. I'm just worried about waking up and actually seeing how deep it is after sitting through the whole night. I just like, I pushed myself as far as I could, but right now I'm just like... How you feeling, buddy? As soon as it starts to just, the whole thing starts to shake and I just, my fight or flight turns on and I'm just like holding on to my thing. Yeah. And I'm just ready for anything. Yeah. I, I'm not going to be able to sleep here at all. All right, boys. A little night rescue mission. You wouldn't believe it, but I have a massive fear and anxiety with heights. Always have. It's taken an incredible mental journey to be able to maintain composure. But I know what you're going through. Yet you're one of the best in the world at what you do. Life is, it all comes down to knowing yourself. This is a community of supporting each other and understanding that we all have our, our own limitations. Don't, you know, don't go home feeling like this is some sort of failure at all. So let's get you off it. Let's do it. Peace, okay, man. man. You, you did guys. great. You did great. I just don't know how I'm gonna get all the way up there. I, I know you can do this. Here. I got you, man. To be facing front forward, the only thing to hold on to is one single thin line, and you have a sheer drop underneath. Way more intense than I thought it would be. I need a sip of water. I can't breathe. Yeah. Atta boy. Too bad. Atta boy. Yes. T-Buggy. Safety feels good. Okay, I just got off the high line. I have never been that scared, hands down, in my entire life. Now it's just Max and I, it's 4 a.m. All right, let's go back to sleep. You. Oh, amazing. Thank Back you, Back on buddy. solid ground. We're all safe. We all made it. <laughs> Best awesome. night ever. I'm at. Best yes. night ever. <laughs> uh. While on that hammock, I truly stopped and questioned what I'd done and why I'd put myself through so much anxiety. But after a few days to reflect on the experience, I realized more than ever before that if we let our fears choose the experiences we get to have, most of the impactful and memorable moments of our lives will remain unlived. We completely limit our perception of the world, the amount of connections we get to make, and just end up asking ourselves, what if I had tried? 
It's important to remember that what we did in this video was obviously monitored by professionals. We highly encourage you to seek out what you fear and take steps to work on them, but it's important to make sure you do it safely. And I hope that you'll take a chance to chase one of your own fears, no matter how big or small they might be. We'll see you next week. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Unfortunately, I cannot make it to this episode, but I'm stoked to see that Thomas Amar, Max, and the guys had such an incredible time. This video is sponsored by our good friends at Audible. Recently, we've been on the go so much, and it's been very difficult to read, which I love doing, but thankfully, Audible has an unmatched collection of audio books, audio original shows, comedy, and news, and one of the books that I've been listening to that has changed my life is called Happiness Advantage by a guy named Sean Aker. It's incredible, I highly recommend it, and luckily, we get to offer you guys one free audiobook, two free audio originals, and a 30-day free trial. So you can take advantage of this opportunity by clicking the link below, audible.com slash yes theory, or texting yes theory to 500, 500 Again, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it so much, and we will see you next Sunday.